Well, those are your latest headlines. Hello and welcome to France Van Katz. I'm Louise Hanna. 30 army vehicles surrounded the village, helicopters attacked from above, while tanks and rocket launchers pummeled the village of Tremsa in the central province of Hama. The description of one Syrian activist who says that Thursday's attack by regime troops killed up to 200 people, making it the worst single-day massacre in the 17-month conflict, if confirmed. While the head of the UN monitoring mission, Robert Mood, says he's ready to go to Tremsa to try and find out what happened, but only if there's a secret ceasefire in place. Protesters are calling it their Arab Spring. Sudan's president says a burning hot summer awaits his enemies. Well, both are referring to demonstrations in Khartoum that have been taking place since last month against rising living costs and job cuts. Human rights groups accuse President Omar al-Bashir of ruthlessly clamping down on activists, arresting and torturing them. Our international affairs editor Douglas Herbert earlier explained why these particular protests have become the longest running yet. Some of the survivors of the fuel tanker explosion in Nigeria say that they're not getting the urgent medical treatment that they desperately need. We're getting reports that some victims with horrific burns are being made to wait up to 10 hours before being treated. A senior medical officer at the local hospital in Ok Ogbe says that drugs have run out and that there isn't even enough staff to treat the wounded. Families of the nine people who died during Thursday's avalanche in the French Alps have been gathering in nearby Chamonix to pay their respects. Three Britons, three Germans, two Spaniards and a Swiss person all died after a wall of snow charged down Mont Maudy, known as Cursed Mountain in French, part of the Mont Blanc range. And just three weeks away now from the start of the Olympic Games and the uniform that the American athletes will be wearing has been unveiled to great fanfare. With hues of blue, red and white, there are all the colours in there from the Star Spangled Banner. Plus, they've been designed by one of the US's top fashion designers, Ralph Lauren. But there's one small detail that's causing outrage across the US. They were made in China. Well, that's where we leave this edition. Do stay tuned. More coming up in just 20 minutes.